Hey YouTube, Dre2701 here and Kilo. Kilo in the house. So this has been a pretty amazing week for us here, as y'all can tell. There's been almost a video every day. Oops, hit the camera, sorry. So before we get started, um, we wanted to kind of give each other a hug here because it's been such a good thing, but we really can't do that on camera. So what we usually do when we're in public and we want to give each other a hug and uh, not bring our attention to ourselves is we hand hug. Yeah. Okay. So we started off first um, doing a video with S Poured Silver for Gamma. Silverhead Gamma. Pouring Silver with Love all day and all night. Next, we followed it up with a video on uh, a recap of where I was with the Koala series and a couple recent pickups. Um, this is a new one now. Just got this in yesterday. Uh, That's the 2013. Gilded Koala. So, I know. I, I really didn't think I would like the Gilded ones until we got them in hand, and probably one of my more favorite ones now. So we did that video. So we did that one. We did that one. Next, we did, yep, uh, local coin show pickups of uh, some vintage it? bars. Can I see it? Huh? Can I see it? You can see the stick, yeah. No, this. Yeah, you can see it. A little out of focus, but there we go. Um, so that was the third video, I believe. Next, we did a video, the unboxing of the gold mercury dimes. And I'm happy to say that this one is now mine, free and clear. I have sold the other ones, made the last sales today. They're already in the mail. One of them has actually already been delivered to an individual. So, so ended up getting this one free and got a little change in my pocket going ching a ling a ling. Anyway, so that was good. And um, so what's better to top it off with than gold? Yeah. <laughs> so the other day when I was picking up the, uh, the kilo there, he had a... Um, a 1969, I can't remember the year, but it was a quarter ounce gold eagle proof. And uh, I told him, you know, as much as I wanted to, it's giving me a really good deal. I couldn't buy them both at the time. Well, I got thinking about it, got thinking about it. And I was like, ah. So last night, Keelan and I drove by there and uh, just to see if he still had it. I was going to go ahead and buy it. He said, no, I don't, but I'm going to go see if there's something else. So he went back and he pulled out this half ounce gold and I was like man I don't know I, mean, I was just gonna do a, a quarter but uh and then they're like well if you want to sell some stuff you know I was like yeah let me think about it we went out to eat and we came home and I decided yeah I'm gonna try my hand I've never sold off anything I have my two stashes there are stuff that I buy and I just hold on to it and then there's stuff I buy that I know immediately that I'm going to sell it or try to flip it or do something with it. <coughs> so I went into my silver and decided we were going to do this. So I went up there today and um, did a pretty good deal with them. So uh, I'll show you what I got first. So this is what I went for. Most of y'all probably know what that is. That is the mint box for a one ounce proof. This is the first time I've actually held one and stuff. So it comes in a really nice presentation box. And then you have this uh, like presentation booklet with a COA. Let's see there. And then you have your half ounce gold coin even on the, the end here on the spine of the, what would be like a book they, just cool little details on there so let's go ahead and take a look at the coin itself so here we have a half ounce proof eagle 2003 this thing is beautiful. I'm not going to take it out now, but I did take it out. And uh, 
it definitely is gradable, but I'm not going to grade it. It's going to sit like this in my collection. So, um, so we picked that up. And, um, after that, you know, we kind of worked out the numbers on the stuff that I was selling them. And after I purchased that, I still had a balance and, uh, went ahead and I was like, well, you got any more gold? And he had some stuff sitting right there, but, uh, none of it was, you know, some of it was some pre-33, but it wasn't that great condition. So he went back and grabbed these little fellas. So I got two 1999 BU quarter ounce. Add those to the stack. And I was like, God, well, I feel so empty inside, kind of, because I sold them. It came out to 74 ounces of gold. I mean, uh, 74 ounces of silver. So y'all probably can hear it in the background. But I went ahead and decided to top it off. I wanted to get a little constitutional, so I got $10 face value on some really nice... That's the beauty of a constitutional. You can toss it about. So, 20 of them puppies. So that's my second roll of Kennedy's. And uh, the beauty about this whole thing is, you know, my son's like, no, don't do it, don't do it. And I was like, no, I think it's a good time to kind of do one of these switches because uh, I sold him 74 ounces of silver, like I said, and I went back and I looked to see what I paid for it all after doing the deal with them, just to see. And it ends up that I paid, it averaged out to $16.69 an ounce that I paid. And I sold it today for an average of $17.82, which isn't bad. At the time, it was first thing in the morning, and uh, spot was at $17.40. It even turned into a better deal because it dropped down like 40 cents midday. So, uh, yeah, I pretty much got my gold at spot, maybe $10 over it worked out to be. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, you put it away? Oh, you got to show that off, man. That's the, well, those that like gold, this would be the highlight of the video. And those that like silver, definitely the bars back there in the background. Yeah. So there we go. We're going to take a little time off. So uh, may not see any videos here for a little bit, but uh, hopefully we've given you enough to, to peek at for a while. Appreciate everybody watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great night. Bye.